welcome back guys to another episode of my Victoria Lazy Bastard. Let's play. So yeah, last time we actually started a bit on doing stuff for our research. So we want to, to get the production science packs going. And I think we have everything we need on the bus for that now. Okay, yeah, we do need some lubricant as well in here. But that shouldn't be an issue, I hope. I know. Yeah, but it seems like this guy comes to repair here. Oh, there's another biter. Oh, it's a spitter, actually. Yeah, it hit her again. Maybe we should uh, take a look up there. We do have 21 laser turrets now. Which is quite a lot, actually. So let's just use them. Uh, yeah, I think it was this guy right here, so... Yeah, it seems a little bit excessive, but uh should totally work, I guess. So, yeah. Let me figure out some, some ratios for this guy. Um, I think we were going for two a second everywhere, so we would need to run this recipe once a second. So we would need uh, one electric engine and one electric furnace a second. So for this we would need 10 uh, guys to produce this stuff. We already do have this, yeah, this is not an uh, easy to blueprint package at all, but uh, yeah, we would need uh, also some uh, some pipes here that we would have to, to make on site. So we would need like two pipes uh, a second, which is still doable by one guy, which means that's that's great, actually. Okay. So let me start uh, over here with like the first guy here to produce the normal engines. Yeah, let's just do here guy for the for the pipes first. And then I want to start with the actual production of 40 pipes. Okay, yeah, this is pretty close again to the to the bus here, but I don't care now. Okay. So now this is uh, up and running. Yeah, these guys also need iron gears and steel plates. I think none of which is also required for the electric engines, yeah. So we would need a, a second belt right here. Um, yeah, with some long-handed inserters, obviously. Gears and steel plates. I think that should be possible. Gears and steel plates. So uh, we could actually maybe mix the belt here in the, in the middle. Let's see if this actually like works or not. Oh yeah, I want to do this like that and then we can mix her together like this actually. Yeah, sure, we could compress it a little bit more, but that should should work. Okay. Oh, you don't need that. Okay, so now we want to have a long-handed inserter going into the uh, electric engine guy. Exactly. Okay. Output for electric engines. Yeah, wait, first we need a pipe here. Now we would also need the input for the uh, electric engine circuits. 
or the electric circuits. That would be that guy. We can also easily take that from the bus. Yeah, well, it's on the completely opposite side, basically, but it definitely is no issue whatsoever. Okay. Uh, so now we only need the output. Yeah, I'm doing it like three white here to be able to blueprint this. So that's what I want to do right now. Just this thing 10 times so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's uh, 10. Perfect. Okay. Do we have, yeah, we do have actually radar coverage over here. Okay. Want to put uh, one of these guys down here. Okay, now we do have to power all of this anyways. So let's just, oops, do that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure, it's not the not the quickest thing in the world, but uh, yeah, it definitely works. And that's all that matters. Okay. Now that one belt and now everything should be should be done here, fingers crossed. I mean they start working up there. Okay, so now we only need the lubricant. Yeah, sure that didn't work out that well. Okay. Yeah, I just wanna make like a pretty simple connection. Yeah, maybe let's actually keep that within the bus for now, for here at least. And now let's just run this straight up. Okay. Uh, so lubricant is up there. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not the smartest thing I ever did, but let's just connect it up. Like that, okay. Maybe we could also get a pump in here. If I had one. Do I have a pump somewhere? I don't know. Doesn't look like it, so let me just make uh, make a pump here. Or let's uh, make a couple, maybe even. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, great. Some some normal engines, please. Yeah, four should be fine. So now let's just build a couple pumps here. Put it here. Uh, power it up. There's the, the loop tank, yeah, it definitely works. We don't have heavy oil whatsoever, so that's maybe a problem. Uh, why is this actually? Probably because of all of this right here, yeah, it's very, very probably. Let's uh, just disconnect that. All right. Yeah, maybe uh, let's just connect it a different way. Yeah, right here. This seems to be a little bit more obvious to me. And that should also be um, a little bit successful, I hope. Okay. Uh, now we have that all also running and running and gunning. So let me just 
go down here again and look after the good old electric furnace production. Because that's definitely also a thing that needs to be done. Yeah, this right here definitely works. Okay. Now we need uh, another set of 10 assembly machines for the electric furnaces. Electric furnaces seem to be actually quite simple. All we need is two input belts. How long do they take actually? Just five. Yeah, we can actually just start all of this then uh, over here. And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could even make this like right here. Okay, we are getting. Oh yeah, this guy is out of ammo. This is kind of kind of a problem actually. So let me go over here and fix this real quick. Yeah, my f solution for now for these things is just going to be placing down a laser turret instead, I think. Yeah, no, this doesn't have any energy. Brilliant. This didn't help a lot. Okay, now. Now we have it. We also have this guy. Okay, now she's fixed as well. Oh, so let me then uh, continue down here. Yeah, I want to get at least the electric furnaces running this episode as well. So that we can finish her up in the, in the next one. Okay, electric furnaces, you all get. Ah, that's a good question. How should we mix the belt? I'd say we will mix steel and advanced circuits. So the upper belt is just gonna be this guy. Steel and advanced circuits. Yeah, this is... I mean, at least the advanced circuits is definitely going to be an issue. Okay. Yeah, let me just uh, try again. Okay, now like this because I actually want to have, well, a mixed belt. So I'm going to do it like that. And now we can continue on and go to the advanced circuits all the way over here. This should be straightforward now. And we also are still not done with the extension down there. Okay. So now let me just, uh, yeah, blueprint this over actually. Two, three, four, and five. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. So now that should be working as well. I mean, I don't have high hopes for the advanced circuits to hold up. I mean, we are producing like how many right now? Uh, we are producing about, yeah, well, f one, uh, one per, one per second, and we would need five per second. So yeah, I think that should be clear that this definitely is not enough, but uh, yeah, well. Okay, so now we have all of the stuff we need actually for the production science packs. Great. 
Uh, now we just need a couple assembly machines to assemble off that mess. Yeah, we need actually like seven on either side. That doesn't work. That should be like that. Okay. Um, yeah. And then the production science packs. Okay. Yeah, that's just so easy and straight straightforward actually. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Okay. Yeah, it looks cool actually. So electricity again, and again this is yeah pretty straightforward actually. Yeah, let me just also connect it like over here so it's a bit more interconnected. And those power poles are actually pretty beautiful. Okay, not really, but. I mean, considering that power pool placement everywhere else is pretty messy, I think I got it pretty neatly at least down here. Oh yeah, and here it also looks good, I think. But yeah, literally everywhere else is just... I mean, what even is this right here, right? Oh well. Oh well, so yeah, let me just continue on. Wow, this is... This pollution cloud is getting out of hand, I think. Thanks, desert. Okay, but now this all... Shit. Is uh, going, so let me... Put these on there again. Okay, so now we can... Work on feeding them into our... Into our labs here. Wait, I want to actually do something like that so we can have them mixed with the high tech signs then. Okay, and now we need to. I mean, this time I don't want to let them loop around, this time I just want to have them go like that. I mean when we are at like space science we have to worry about this to get redesigned anyway so yeah I'm out of belt which is pretty bad. Or at least mildly catastrophic. Yeah so now this guy's also getting this guy is actually getting attacked quite a bit down there. No wonder that the thing went out of ammo that was there before. Yeah, seems like I can only do one side then for now, but yeah, let's see how quickly we can get new belts. Okay. Yeah, we still don't have any, so yeah, let me just continue on with placing inserters and power poles then. Okay. Yeah, so we still have uh, one research going, and after that we will, uh, yeah, probably get to the level three assembly machines, which is pretty exciting. Be 
because then we can truly build everything. Okay. I mean, I could just do it with yellow belt now, but now I already like started and stuff, so I don't know. But yes, it seems like we have to figure that one out in the very next episode. So until then, have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you all then. Bye bye.